Hey guys, it's your boy Logan HDI, and welcome back to some more Roblox. Now you may be wondering, Logan, you look a little bit different from your last video yesterday, and it's actually because I just came back from a week and a half long holiday. So the past week and a half videos, I had to pre-record those all before I went away, so they were like a week and a half old. But now we are back from my holiday, which was really nice to have and to like reset and to like yeah. But I feel like I've missed quite a bit from the past week and a half on Roblox. So if I've missed anything, comment down below so I can kind of catch up so I know what to do. But I got a message from the developer of Pokemon Legends, Bialz Tupac. I never know how to say his name, but I think it's that. I don't know. But he messaged me and he was like, hey, Logan, we have a new game up that's kind of like Pokemon Legends that the team has been working on. And they have put it up and it is this right here, Arena X. And it's an open beta at the moment. I don't know if it's going to go to closed beta, but it's an open beta at the moment. By the way, by Scrubtious Studio. What the poop? Is this the new studio? Oh, it's his new studio group. Scrubtious <laughs> Studio. That's kind of a cool name. Uh, but Arena X looks pretty cool. I've seen some pictures of it and like these new monsters. It's like a completely new game. I think I don't really know too much about it. Uh, so the description says press R, Q and E to dash. Recent update. Stickers no longer spawn on top of others. Uh, fixed animations. Oh, there's animations. Oh, and there's 80 people playing it right now so this sounds really sick let's jump into it oh and i just saw on their group in their development team group uh, i recognize some of their developers like this but i know him and some of the other others i recognize as well so that's pretty cool they got the same team going but yeah let's jump into the game and oh here we are arena x that's the logo right there looks pretty cool loading game assets oh it takes a while there's a lot of assets in the game but here we are whoa this is quite different where that one has a dash on it there's credits there is a dash what's the dash do the dash does nothing so maybe it's a secret mode coming out. I don't know. Secret. Uh, so select game mode. What different game modes are there? So there's PvP and roleplay. Oh, it's kind of like uh, Pokemon Fighters. But uh, uh, roleplay is coming soon. Let's do the PvP then. And oh, it takes you to a whole different game. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's better for lag. I'm not really sure. But now it's another loading screen. And it's, uh, oh, there's a lot of assets. But this is also my first time playing Roblox in like a week and a half. And it feels pretty weird. So I may like forget how to do stuff, how to like use my computer. I don't know, when I came back, it felt really weird to like use my computer again. But we're here, play the game, let's go. So what's like, oh, so you can like select the Pokemon. This is pretty similar to how Pokemon Legends work. They have all the images, but it's actually a bunch of new Pokemon. I'm not Pokemon, they're called beasts in this game. Oh, so they've actually got quite a few different monsters or like beasts as well as some bosses. Oh, that sounds sick. I guess those are like legendaries. I don't know, but they've got Cactus-y. <laughs> It's like a little cactus. That's pretty cool. Lure, uh, lure chin. That's pretty cool. Trappy T. So like, I guess these are like the three starter sort of beast things because all the others are locked at the moment. Oh, so which one should we choose? Cacti look, kind of looks like a grass type. This Lurkin sort of looks like a water type. And the Trap T looks like a fire type. I uh, I kind of like this middle one. I'm going to choose that one. Is there, oh, it's water ground. So they actually have types to, the, to these monsters that actually look pretty cool so it's got water gun takedown oh so the moves are the same that's interesting hopefully that's like uh pokemon doesn't get angry at that i don't know because those are pokemon moves razor leaf takedown yeah i feel like maybe they should be changed to other moves i don't know there's also a dark dark leaf type where it's not a grass type it's a leaf type so that looks pretty cool and then trappy this is a steel normal oh that's pretty cool it kind of looks like a little magnemite ghost sort of thing that's kind of cool but let's choose this one i think this one could be really cool it's got uh, some pretty good stats. Let's select this. Oh, and it's got the same sort of spawning system. And you can choose the main island. So this is the island at the moment. There's a bot. There's a boss battle up there. Oh, and there's two spawns I can choose at the moment. That looks like a pretty cool map. I'll choose this one here. Oh, it's so dark though. I can't see a thing. No, there's also wall animations. They actually look like really good animations. I like that. The model looks cool. The animation looks cool. This map seems like very big and wide open though. Like, so they're not too much in the map. I kind of liked how the other 
Pokemon Legends map uh, looked because it was a bit smaller, which I think works a bit better for this game. Also, it's like pitch black. I cannot see a single thing. Oh, no, is there a way to, like, to make it? Oh, there's quests in here. But is there a way to make it daytime? I don't know. So this is a quest. Level 100 boss battle. Oh, no. So Sky Rithrath is a bug, uh, dark type uh, beast. Legends says you can find him somewhere floating on. His only question is how do you get there? Oh, no, I've got no idea. I'm level 6 right now. But, yeah, it looks like a lot of the system is quite similar to the Pokemon Legends, which is really cool. Oh, so there's my little, uh, like, uh, animal right there. I want to try, what am I doing? Oh, no, too many UIs up, and so I can save down. I guess i got to save in this game to, like, save the stuff. I don't really know where I am, though. Like, there's that spawn point right there. I think I'm, like, on a mountain. If I fall down here, I think, uh, yeah, I can fall down. And, uh, I don't really know where I am now. It's so dark. I wish it was, like, a bit lighter at night time. Oh, I can kind of see something over there. It looks like a little bridge. That's pretty cool, but this map feels so big. I wish it was a little bit smaller because you got to walk for a long time. When you're this small, it's like, yeah, you got to walk for a long time to even, like, see any other players. There's, like, a floaty bridge up there. That's pretty cool. I'm also level 9. It looks like I can't evolve at the moment. No. But I think there are actually, like, stickers around the area that i got to find to unlock those other uh, monsters because back on, like, the game page, it said, like, uh, stickers have been, like, fixed or something. So I think there are, like, little stickers like how in Pokemon Legends there are stickers for Pokemon. I think there's stickers for animals here as well. Oh, it's becoming daytime. I can see finally. Yes. Okay, so we can see the map now. Whoa. Okay, this looks way different. I think nighttime should look like this because you can at least see stuff. Nighttime was way too dark. So uh, it looks like I spawned over there. I'm like in this big giant mountain area. Whoa, it looks like there's a little cave right there maybe. Oh no, I think it's just a lighting glitch. Whoa, there's something up there. Oh man, so now we can actually get like a pretty good view on our creature. That looks cool. Yeah, I like it. It's got like spikes on it. Very nice. Oh, there's like uh, little islands over there. Oh man, but the map yeah is so big. I feel like it might be too big because there's not that many people on the server. I think it's kept to like about 10 people and it makes it just feel like it's a massive kind of world, which is maybe what they're trying to go for. But uh, I'm not sure. There's also some big islands up there. Whoa, are those islands are like, like giant things. I don't know. I'm going to reset though because I feel like oh, I'm kind of stuck. And I think I'm going to choose Cacti. He looks pretty cool. I think Cacti actually looks like a pretty cool one. I have not got the shiny. So all oh, there's like shiny monsters as well. That's cool. Let's morph into this one. Let's choose uh, the spawn. Oh, okay, the spawn looks a lot better, I reckon. Yeah, it's a bit, this is probably the main spawn that I was meant to choose. And look at my little guy down there. Oh, man. That looks, that actually looks pretty cool. It's like a little animation to it as well. I'm kind of like wobbling around. Oh, that's sick. So this seems like it's like the town area. There's also a, a beast marker. Oh, click to enter. Oh, so there's cash here. I've got 225 cash. I don't know how I got that. Uh, I guess, oh, I guess I've lost all my cash from Pokemon Legends. That's fine though. So I can uh, disable or double cash, double XP. That's pretty cool. There's some stones I can buy. I don't really think I need any of that at the moment. Uh, there's also the case shop. Oh, like cases back in Pokemon Legends. That's cool. Oh, there's also a person right there. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of people. They've got different monsters. But that one right there was actually one that I remember to Silvermade. And it came out in Pokemon Legends. It was like a fan-made sort of like Pokemon thing. So they actually bought it back here. Whoa, look at that one. I'm pretty sure I actually saw that on Twitter. That one looks sick. Oh, the lighting change again. But that one looks really cool. It looks like it moves a lot faster. I want to try and get that one. I don't know how to get that one. I guess we've got to find this little one. Oh, that actually kind of looks like... Oh, it kind of looks like a demon Weedle. It's got like a Weedle spike. It's got like a skull on its face. Oh, that looks sick. It's like a little demon Weedle. That's pretty cool. An evil, like, killer Weedle. Whoa, man. We need to watch out for him. He's pretty crazy. This guy also looks pretty crazy as well. Like, his eyes in there, they look pretty crazy. Uh, so, I want to try and find that one. Oh, they just said it's a boss Pokemon. Oh, so Demon Weedle is a boss. That's sick. Oh, that's also the other, like, starter Pokemon. We'll start a monster right there. That's cool. So I want to try and get that eventually. Probably can't today because I'm very weak and I haven't got much stuff. So, yeah, the map looks pretty cool. It looks like there's, like, a spike up there. Whoa, like a giant waterfall right there. I'll try and make my way up there. Wait, can I actually... Oh, there's a cave. Oh, it looks like I can walk up there if I want to. There's also a cave here with, uh nothing. I thought there was something down there. There's nothing in here. Okay. But yeah, you can just like sneak your way up here. Oh, carefully, carefully, go, go. Yes, we made our way up there. Whoa, now we're like in the big giant open area. This looks pretty cool. I like it, but I, I feel like it is too big. I'm not a big fan of like giant maps. I thought Pokemon Legends was like a good size. 
Wait, is there something right there? Oh, it looks like a little something. What have we got? What is it? What is that right there? Is that a stone or is it just like a... Oh, I think it's just a leaf that's like falling off the tree. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I just realized, well, people here said you can actually double jump. Oh, that's super helpful. There's also a kind of like bats when they do that. That's pretty cool. If you can double jump around, that's sick. There's also something over there. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Someone also said that there is a weedle in this game. Oh, wait, is it there? That one? Yeah, we saw the weedle. Yeah, the demon weedle. That looks really cool, I think. It kind of is like not quite a weedle because it looks different. Like, the actual, like, body of it is different. You kind of see, like, little spikes in there. It's got a skull on its head. It's very evil. Looks like it's kind of, like, uh, evolved from, like, over the years. Like, maybe there's, like, a really futuristic weedle or maybe, like, a, like a dinosaur weedle. Oh, maybe it's, like, a dinosaur weedle. But everyone here is that monster. So maybe it's, like, one of the best monsters you can get. I don't know. Yeah, there's also Mad Killer right there, the spiky one. But I want to check out what this is right here this oh this actually looks like i'm pretty sure this was in the pokemon legends map right here it looks very similar to is that like the main spawn area it might actually be the main spawn because there's that floating rock right there which was in the game before and it looks like this stuff is quite familiar looking i think it actually is oh man that is cool they added it into here that's sick but then it's just like wide open after that i reckon they should have just used the pokemon legends map and then just kind of edited it a little bit but then instead of like making a whole new giant world although the whole new giant world is cool and it is in beta at the moment so i guess i'll like fill in stuff as they go because yeah it's just nothing there but i'm pretty sure this is it looks like they've changed some stuff i think is that different or you can also double jump so it makes it going up the stuff a lot easier as well i think some of these buildings and you like that one right there i don't really recognize it may be the building he got like uh entei or like a uh, suicune from but whoa what is that right there it's like a robot sort of charmander oh that's another one that's level 87 so that's a very strong one one right there but that looks cool oh so those are probably like two of the strongest like monsters that's cool. I like that. That looks really cool as well. The models look very nice and the animations look pretty cool as well. Yeah, so this is where you got like Entei or Raikou, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it looks like they haven't changed too much for this, but that's cool because this map looks cool. And then, wait, is that waterfall new? I feel like that waterfall is new. Normally, actually, no, I think it was in the game before. Maybe it's like been uh, edited a little bit. I'm not too sure. But then like in the other game, Pokemon Legends, there was like a big ocean here and then there's other stuff. So they've like changed it to this. Oh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I feel like there's a lot more to explore because the world is pretty big and i've got to find some more monsters as well but maybe we could do that in another episode if you guys want to see more of this game let me know comment down below and subscribe if you guys are new to join a log squad and i'll see you in my next video see ya